Hey you guys, thank you so much for leaving your comments in my previous video, five most annoying driving habits. I hope you all enjoyed that video. And if you haven't checked it out, please check it out. I'll link a description down below as well as above. Check that video out. Anyways, without further ado, I have gotten a crazy amount of good suggestions for this video. Let's get started. Number one would have to be intentional rust. I absolutely cannot stand the sight of rust. And I'm sure guys like Alex from Car Throttle would completely agree with this as he dealt with rust for his his Miata as well as his E36 M3. I'm sure many of you guys out there could relate to this as well. It's one thing if you're mighty car mods and you intentionally spray on rust for your project car. It's another for a person to own a brand new car or a project car that they aren't joking around with to have intentional rust. It's just unsightly. It makes me wince a little bit, not gonna lie. So maybe you guys could relate to this as well. The second cringy mod that you guys have mentioned time and time again and again is Lambo doors, seagull doors, scissor doors, or suicide doors on normal cars. Now, of course, we are used to seeing those special doors on high-end exotic or supercars, hypercars, right? But it's one thing to see it on a Honda Civic, and it's another to see it on, let's say, a Chevrolet Corvette. Now, although those cars admittedly are a little bit unsightful to see with Lambo doors, I would like to think and excuse the coupes a little little bit because especially with Camaros, Mustangs, Corvettes, or any coupe really, when you swing your doors outward like a normal car, you tend to take up a good portion of the following parking space next to you. However, with the Lambo doors, I, I'm starting to understand if you're a heftier fellow, it's actually spatially efficient to swing the doors upwards if you have, let's say, a Corvette. Obviously with the Honda Civic, your doors are tiny to begin with, so when you add Lambo features to a Honda Civic, it doesn't make it special. The third cringy mod would have to be excessive camber. A lot of big car YouTubers have mentioned it time and time again and again, as well as you guys like Irie Storm, Burger. I'm thinking you meant camber. I'm gonna give you guys the benefit of the doubt because if you meant Campbell's chicken noodle soup, it's awesome. Dylan, Future Marine, Victor, Team TMH Films, so on and so forth. A lot of you guys mentioned excessive camber and to an extent, I understand that camber does have a functional purpose up to about five degrees, but but any excessive camber to the point where you're kind of horizontal to the ground, that can't be good for your suspension components. I don't understand it stylistically how it's cool, but you know, it's their culture, have at it, you do you. The fourth cringy mod kind of caught me off guard because I have never heard of this. It's basically a fake sunroof decal. It's a sticker-like material, kind of like vinyl, that people put on top of their roofs of cars that obviously don't have a sunroof. And for the fifth cringiest mod, I couldn't really pick it out. You guys had so many good suggestions. I'll start out with eyelashes. I agree, eyelashes, uh, particularly on a new beetle. For whatever reason, ladies, girls think it's cute looking. It reminds me a lot of the pink mustache for the longest time for Lyft drivers. It's kind of like ew but anyways moving on to fake hood scoops we've all seen those photos where a minivan has a fake hood scoop on their car of course there's the rear spoilers on normal cars not even performance cars like family sedans that are front wheel drive with big spoilers like why and lastly diamonds fake diamonds of course on your car to add extra bling kind of goes in hand with neon lights but yeah all these were great suggestions and equally deserve to be in the fifth cringiest mod spot Anyways, guys, thank you so much for offering your comments, your suggestions. They were all great. I read through a boatload of your comments. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Comment in the comment section below if there's any other cringy mods that I may have missed. Look out for more videos just like this in the coming weeks. Until next time, please stay tuned. Peace out.